Mayor, did I hear you correctly the other day? Did you say the police department is getting overtime at the 33 hour a week mark? Yeah. Is that you? Uh, are you against that? Are you trying to stop that? This Ridley Report is brought to you by Libertania.com. You're on the Board of Aldermen, correct? Hey, Mike, Sir, how are you doing? Are you on the Board of Aldermen? Yeah, I am. Question for you. Uh, do you support the police department spending money to try and keep Chris King from interviewing Kelly Ayotte? Did you hear about this in the National Telegraph? No, I didn't. This was I'll a couple, look into it, though. It was a couple of years ago. Are oh. you familiar with Chris? Yeah, I know. I know Chris King. That's right. Actually, we talked about that. You yeah. asked me no, about it. So you're the perfect person to ask. But you weren't familiar with that particular case. No, I'm not. Do you think that the police department should stop a reporter from interviewing Kelly Ayotte? Um, probably not. All right, at least I got a straight answer. Thanks much. Thanks. Are you with the city of Nashville, ma'am? Yes. Oh, question for you. Will, will you be advocating for more funding for your department today? Will I be advocating for more um, what is in the budget? You're not going to advocate for more or less funding? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks much. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Are you with the city of Nashua, sir? Are you with the city of Nashua? Yes, I am. Question for you. Will you be, are you on the board or, or nope. bureaucrat? On the board. Question. Uh, are you, will you be voting for slightly more spending, slightly more taxes this uh, year? I've got a different agenda I've got to address tonight. Okay. So you're not going to vote for more taxes and spending? No, I'm not going to vote for more taxes necessarily. But maybe more spending? If it's necessary, yes. Uh, can it be necessary when your city has enough money to stop at a reporter? Would you, would you please, I'm getting blinded by that. Well, I'm sorry. I'll put it down lower. But uh, you, you guys have enough money to have your police department stop a reporter from interviewing Kelly Ayotte. Do you maybe have too much money? I have no comment on that. Well, uh, do you think that the city maybe has too much money if it can taser a Chinese woman for trying to buy too many uh, cell phones? I have no comment on that. We'll see you later. Do you ever read Fortune magazine? It was an infamous incident. Mayor, did I hear you correctly the other day? Did you say the police department is getting overtime at the 33 hour a week mark? Yeah. Is that you? Uh, are you against that? Are you trying to stop that? Well, I'm concerned about it. Will there be, will you be voting in favor of a slight increase in expenditures this year? Well, I'm not who presented the budget. The budget is like a 2% increase, right? Is that? Right, it's about 2% increase, yeah. That's, you, I, I present my budget tonight. So you'll be voting in favor of that if you get the chance? Well, I support my budget. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, so how can you guys raise taxes if you've got enough money for luxury perks like that for the police? 33-hour overtime, Mark? Well, I don't think it's a luxury perk. It's something that was negotiated, I don't know, more than a decade ago. You can't just take it out. It has to be negotiated. Did you hear about the incident a couple years ago that was reported in Fortune magazine where your police tasered a Chinese woman for trying to buy too many cell phones? At least that's what, that's what sparked the incident. I did hear about that. Did you do anything about that? Or do you have a problem with that? <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. All right. Take yeah. care. Yeah. Bye. A Country Called Prohibition. It's the new book in the Libertania series. Follow, or rather watch your children follow, the adventures of Mary Jane as she travels from her free country to a more familiar land known as Prohibition. How would marijuana be treated in a free society? How would its residents voluntarily protect themselves from attack by authoritarian countries? I bet you don't have the perfect answer yet, but your kids might after they read this. A book so non-aggressive, it's probably banned at your local tax school. Libertania.com